Oh man, I couldn't stop. Hey, this is John Bollinger. We're doing a redemo of the Cole Super Cub. And I'll tell you all about it after I tell you how we're recording it. Couldn't be easier. We've got a uh, Klotz cable running directly into this Fender Supersonic amp. Um, going between the clean and dirty, as you can see, they're both basically flat. Uh, maybe a little goose in the mids there. Other than that, flat. Miking it with a Royer R121, but we're a good foot off the cab. Uh, that seems where it just gets the most natural sound. We're running that into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. Oh, also on that first song, I had, uh, or not song, but whatever I, whatever the hell that was, I had this drop down to a D. So, let me tell you about this guitar. So let's start with the details. Um, it's a mahogany body and it is just shockingly light. Set neck and a really comfortable neck. We call this probably a, I guess it's a C neck. Um, ebony fretboard. And I like that there are no markers. Kind of interesting. Kind of a total baller move not to have markers on there. They're up here, of course, um, with the perloid binding. I love that. It's like mother of bowling ball. It's, uh, it's great. Love this aluminum scratch guard there. Um, maybe the most defining ingredients are these right here. And these are the two Curtis Novak Diatone gold foil pickups. And I get this is a real trend right now, but there's a reason for it. These are very just cool sounding pickups. Dig this. Just straight in on the bridge. Sounds killer. I mean, sounds great. Put a little dirt on it. Come on, man. I mean, it's its own thing. I don't know how best to describe it. It's not a humbucker, but it's not really a... I don't know what it is. It's a great tone. So the neck is equally great. Here we are just... The tone wide open. Bring it down a little bit. Man, that's lush, right? A little bit of dirt. I mean, sounds great. Let's try both of them together. So, the forgotten tone. Love that, with some dirt. Mercy, right? It's not like a bad sound in this thing. Um, okay, other other ingredients include this wraparound Schroeder bridge, which 
Japan, I dig the sound of a wraparound. Um, you know, kind of like the old juniors have. There's something about that connection. I don't know. For whatever reason, it's very ringy and chimey and connected. Uh, I love the, uh, the matching headstock and this paper-thin nitro finish. As you can see, it has been uh, abused at the factory before it got to me. Either that or UPS did it. I don't know. Somebody. But, uh, you know, I know the relicking thing. It's, I will say this. This is a very convincing relic job. It doesn't look like it was, you know, done with sandpaper uh, or, a, or a, you know, whatever, screwdriver. <laughs> and it does feel great. The neck feels like an old friend. It already feels kind of broken in. So I get it. It feels very comfortable, and I'm sure that the relicking helped get it there. And this nitro finish is just killer. So those are the basic details on the Cole Super Cub. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com or maybe have the magazine sent right to your home. Uh, while you're online, though, make sure you like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. We have endless hours of guitar geekery. This is John Bolger. Till next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.